There's something I've got to tell you, too. I'm going to VidCon. Yes, I think that fist pump was totally necessary. VidCon is going to be a blast. I hope I'll see you there. On another note, I'm also helping host a gathering in Seattle, Washington on Saturday, August 14th and Sunday, August 15th. There is a video already up that'll give you more information down there. I also have no idea what to call down there. Let me know. Now what I really wanted to talk to you about today is the Vold's Fear of Heights. And I don't even know how it started. Sometime... I don't know when... I just started getting scared while riding ele elevators, escalators, looking up at tall buildings, being in a tall building and looking out the window. My friends would have to force me to go on any amusement park rides, such as those ones that go all the way up in the sky, hold you there for like five seconds, and then drop you in two seconds, something like a drop of fear or something. Then in my teenage years, which seemed so long ago, my friends decided to force me on the Mindbender, which is the world's largest indoor roller coaster located in West Edmonton Mall. It is also the same indoor roller coaster that killed, I don't know how many people, in 1987, the same year I was born. Needless to say, I was kind of scared and thought I'd poop my pants. But that didn't happen, but I had my eyes closed the entire time I rode that ride. Needs needless to say, that was the last time I rode a roller coaster. I think my fear of heights reached its peak when my family and I went to Six Flags Magic Mountain on New Year's Day 2007, and all I did there was be their bag carrier. They all went on the rides, and the only thing that I have to remember Six Flags Magic Mountain by is Knuckles behind my shoulder right here. They are riding Teltsu, I think that's the name of the ride, and there's this carny thing where you throw a ball and it lands and has to like land in the circle thing, and that's how I won Knuckles over my shoulder. This summer I'm going back to Six Flags Magic Mountain, and I hope to make sure that I go on a ride this time, at least one, if not more. But I think I've conquered my fear since I use some sort of lift thing at work, and I go and change the promotional banners that you see that are hanging at the top of the building when you walk into the building, and I've also went on this ride called the Screaming Eagle at Oaks Park in Portland, Oregon, where it goes like this, and then spins at the same time and goes like this. Yeah, that was quite fun. Thanks, Adam and Kara, for forcing me to go on that. I'll never understand why roller coasters have to be so intimidating and scare the crap out of people like me who are pansies. Now, if only I could learn how to flip.